This tutorial will provide an in-depth look at the Tasks tab in Paymo. Certain view options, such as the table view in Tasks, require a lot of space. So to give ourselves more real estate, we're going to collapse the first two columns in Paymo by clicking on the arrow buttons in the bottom right corner of each column. We'll start by going through each of the task views. Keep in mind that you can switch from one view to another at any time. They can and should be used in parallel. The simple view is a no-fuss to-do list style view for quick access to each task and task list. Let's add a couple task lists. My company has recently completed production on our software development online course, and so now it's time for publishing and promotion. I'm going to click on Add Task List and set up a task list for each. I can now add tasks for each task list by clicking on Add Task below the task list name. When I hover over the name of each task, you'll notice a series of icons pop up next to the name that allow me to set up different properties for the task, including adding a description, assigning users, setting start and end dates, attaching files, adding comments, and checking the progress status. Let's add some task descriptions. Notice that when I select some of the text, this editor pops up, which allows for basic formatting as well as adding hyperlinks. Clicking on Full Task Details opens up all task details in an individual window. Think of it like a full focus mode when you want to add or edit all the details at once and focus on the task. By using the Add Filter menu, you can filter out certain tasks from the display and just focus on tasks with a particular status, task name, task list, person they're assigned to, or date range. For example, if I want to show only tasks that are active and hide the ones that have been completed already, I can choose Status from the Add Filter menu and select Active. Now, only active tasks are displayed. I can also group tasks by task list, complete, or billing type. Lastly, the More menu in the Simple View allows you to show or hide task descriptions and files and save tasks as templates for future projects. The Table View is a more advanced tabular view, offering more detailed stats as well as estimations and totals at the bottom of each table. You can customize the Tables View by using the Column Selector menu. Here you can show or hide various available columns for tasks. The Progress Board, or Kanban view, is really useful for managing workflows as tasks go through different stages. The most basic ones are the preset To Do, In Progress, and Done columns, but you can also add your own custom columns. To move tasks between different stages, simply drag them from one column to the other. In a separate tutorial, we'll cover this view in much greater detail. The Gantt chart is a technique used in project management for planning activities and tracking project schedules, essentially a project chart that tells you what needs to be done and when, and is the most useful way in Paymo to display tasks and activities against time. The Gantt chart offers answers to basic and important questions like, what needs to be done? When does a task start and when is it scheduled to be completed? When does the project start and when is it scheduled to be completed? Which activities overlap and what are the connections between tasks? And who is the person responsible for a task? In the Gantt chart, date ranges for tasks can be easily added and adjusted, as well as project dependencies. In a separate tutorial, we'll go over this view in much greater detail. By now, you should have a solid understanding of how task lists and task views work in Paymo. Try them out for yourself, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.